Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Cosmoteer. We are planning on building a railgun-based ship in this episode, because our Eagle one, it's been pretty good, but I think we can do better. So we're just going to hop into the shipbuilder here and see what we can cook up. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Chemistry dog meme. So let's go for a double railgun. I think quadruple is a little bit too much to start with. Um, so we're going to need railgun launcher. Um, I'm going to blueprint mode here. Two, three, four, five, six. I'll just go with seven. Eight feels like so much. Um, and then we need the loader at the back. And I need access to all of those parts. Okay. And those each require power. We also need ammo, six per shot. Um... That's not tons. Maybe ammo will be over here. And then I'm thinking we need people movers all the way along. And definitely armor. Those fire straight, so I don't have to worry about firing lines or anything. Um, and then we need shields. Maybe there. Something like this. And we're going to need some serious reactors. Keep those shields powered. Um, and then we're also going to need some serious reactors for keeping the railgun stuff powered. Is that enough? So railgun accelerators need 0.5 a shot. And they can carry four shots worth. Yeah, I just, I don't really know what we're doing here. Should I? Hmm. That crazy. I mean, I could have shields doing that. Which would guard the inside pretty well. Maybe we go down a little bit. Like that. And then this. Oops. So that provides lots of coverage. Stuff can't destroy my railguns. Those provide even more coverage for all the things, and these provide backup coverage for those shield generators. I'm gonna call that good enough. Maybe it's overkill, maybe it's underkill. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I, I like that better. Um, we'll figure out what can go in here in a minute. I'm thinking some sort of weapon. Maybe a flak. Oh, goodness, these are big. Flak battery? I don't even know. Um, let's start with moving the armor because it's kind of in a weird spot now. 
This reactor is going to mainly be for the shields. Uh, I think that was actually better. Okay, and then we'll need two more reactors kind of in the middle here to supply maybe engines and the rail guns. So those will go there. And then do, 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 do. now what? I mean, it's a good start. It's a good start. Um, we need ammo, munition, be able to be loaded across the hallway. I don't know how much. Is that? It's got to be too much. Um. Do, 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 do. A bridge? I think it's time for a bridge. Maybe I'll leave room to walk in between those. Bridge. I need a bunch of engines. And I need more weapons. I think... Point defense is a big deal. Lots of point defense. I think point defense does pretty well out on the corners too, like that. Um... I don't really know what I'm doing, but we'll just start with the, the bones here. We'll figure this out. More point defense, though, does mean less... This feels like a great place for flak. Yeah, we're gonna do a flak battery there. Okay. If we can put armor there. We'll see if that gets in the way of the shield gin. Um, and I'll put some more armor here. Still, this angle is just not protected, which is where the enemy ship is, right? It's always middle and forwards. So this is a pretty weak route, and it makes me want to put armor there to guard that. But then it has to go around, so I don't even know. Maybe I do this? Hmm. Slower to deliver power to the big shield, though, which is bad. So I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. Um, I mean, shields there, her armor there helps, but... Okay, and flak batteries need... They don't need power, which is nice, but they need lots of ammo. Tons of ammo. So we're gonna need ammo storage front and center here. And then we're gonna need some engine rooms. Big time. I don't even know what to do with myself. What are we doing here? Okay, maximum reverse with a low spin up time. Something like that. Maybe this. So we have another square to work with up there. Um, that can go sideways. 
Then we've got moving sideways. Lots of strafing power, lots of reversing power. Not enough forward thrusting power. Yeah, I think we need that. Just a big old boy, although he might as well go there. We can do that. So we've got big old boy. We'll kind of do a couple regulars just to have well, is that? I don't know. Spin up time. I'm always worried about the ramp up. That's one second. For large, it's two. And for huge, it's three. Okay, we'll do another large. And then more maneuvering on the inside here. Might need to move that one for walkways. But, uh... Do one more. That's totally fine. Hmm. Okay, sorry, lost my train of thought. I had to pause for a second. Okay. Um, where were we? Get rid of superfluous doors. Which are most of them when it comes to these. Oops, engine rooms. And we need a door there and there. Okay. So. The next question is what the heck are we doing? About the sides of the ship. Am I really going to encompass this whole thing? Also, our steel is already. There's not enough at the space station to buy it, so why don't I remove a couple things? Still not enough steel, huh? Can you save ship design? Um, oh, who was the next patron that we need to name a ship after? Let me pull that up real quick because this thing is going to be boss. Well, we'll see about that. The next one was Luan, the Luaninator, I'm going to call it, Luaninator 1. Okay, did that save? It did. Okay, it saved the blueprint. So I should be able to discard the changes, I hope. Oh, it'll keep it. Okay, good, good, good. So I need more steel. How do I get more steel? First order of business is to say how much steel you got. 1300. You know, let's just go kill a ship. We've been building for too long anyway. Okay, we're not going to destroy the pirate base, but I'm so curious about what it looks like. We're going to fly over there. We're going to quick save it and then we're going to go get wrecked and then we're going to reload. Because I'm really curious what the level 9 pirate base looks like. So I will quick save now. Let's go investigate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lots of enemies, I know that. Okay, what do we got? Oh, gosh. Level 7 enemy, a level 9 platform. Oh, holy crap. Okay, so it's got cannons out the wazoo facing a variety of directions, and that's it? Really now? So you're telling me if I don't get within cannon range, I can just destroy this thing? Easy peasy. Okay, well, that's actually not scary at all, and there's still only level two platforms around it. I'm surprised the platforms aren't amped up a little bit. Because cannons are shorter range. 
They're only 190 meters, so I can just long range this. Obviously, there's some ships I'll have to deal with, but uh, we're going to actually try to kill it since we're here. Um, oh, crap. No. Ouch. Um, I'm going to try to draw a ship away. Is it not going to chase me? Here it comes. Are they both chasing me? Oh, crap. I don't know if I can defeat two of them. Uh... Okay, let's just fight. What the heck? We quick saved. This thing's just a lot of missiles, right? Uh, our point defense is going to be stressed out. Oh, it's turned the wrong direction. Why is it turned the wrong direction? Well, that uh, made that an easy kill. Now we can see if we uh, can figure out how we cut this one in half before. I guess stuff just blows up. Oh, explosions from the... Okay. Yeah, not not too bad. Point defense earning its keep. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. Clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up. See if we can chase this guy down before he gets. Uh, nope. Up. Turn around. Turn around. Here he comes. Point defense earning its keep. You know, why don't we actually fire at the weak spots? There we go. Done. Okay, back to here. Farming all of the steel which we need. Oh, I just remembered we have. We didn't replace our armor back there. Oh, that's a lot of ammo. Got all that. Now we go back here. Oh, I lost a guy. And then gather that. One more piece of steel. Got it. Okay. Repairs. Slight, but not super bad. Let's go ahead and save. And let's see if we can finish off this, uh, this station. We're gonna go max missile range. What the heck? Why does it... Oh, it turns sideways because one missile launcher could reach it. Okay, we'll just go there. Oh, it's a point defense platform, Crydax. That does mean it's going to be well suited at defending against missiles. I don't even have that many missiles. Okay, well, there we go. Just do that. That's a missile platform. That's a point defense. We will go laser range. Just melt it. I'm not even targeting anything. Uh, that's point defense, which I don't really care about. Okay, well, we'll go laser range, and we will just dismantle this from the inside out, I think. Hopefully that's not cannon range. Yeah, okay. 
And we'll target this, the little juicy center. Uh oh, oh, no, 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 you don't go that close. That asteroid almost got us killed. Okay, we got it. We just got some fame for that. Take out that point defense. Okay. Now, we are gonna need hella storage. Oops, I did that wrong, but that's okay. And we are going to salvage every last bit of this on 8x speed. And it's going to take a while. Try to get close so our miners can help. Like they're not even doing anything. Weird. There we go. Yes. Yes, feed me. Yeah, I mean, not a great design. Um, honestly. There should have been, like, missile launchers on the ends or something. I mean, having no long-range weaponry past cannons just makes it a sitting duck. Hey, easy fame for me, easy resources. Hey, high explosive missiles. You know, I can turn that on for a second. Gather a few of those for rearming. There we go. money that's going to pay me. 42,000. Nice. Hey, get... Bro, what are you doing? Gosh. Just flew right into my salvage. Excuse me. Alright, there goes the last of the point defense platform. This has been some serious salvage. It's okay, we needed a lot of steel, so worked out. It worked out. Gosh, that's so many cannons. You know, I probably should have just quick built some lasers on the front. Because this has taken forever, but now we're almost done. Alright, are we going to have enough storage? It looks like we will. I still have to gather that defense platform remains in this one, but we're most of the way there. Oops. Get all that stuff. Now get all this stuff. Almost there. Man, it's kind of disappointing, though, that the level 6 pirate bases are actually more difficult than the level 9. I think I'll probably um, send a message on the Discord mentioning that, because we're still very much in early access for this game. There's a lot of... or if it's not still early access, there's a lot of future features that are on the roadmap. So we're nowhere near the end of the development cycle for this game, which is good. Because it's already great, but I think it can be better, for sure, 
and yeah, just kind of a more smooth difficulty curve, I think, is a, a pretty good thing for a game like this. And having, you know, one of the bigger enemies, which is a pirate base, be outranged by literally everything other than cannons feels like maybe a little too easy. And believe it or not, we have reached our capacity and need to add even more storage. We'll clean up the last bits of space flotsam. Flotsam and jetsam. And that should do it. Go ahead and jump. Jump home. Zoop. Fly over here. And that should be enough to last a minute. Luana Nader. Let's get back to building. So. We can at least make the bones here. Now, we need a couple other things to even get this functional. I also don't... It says we have enough power, which is surprising. Um, I'm going to throw a couple more reactors over here. We're going to do sensors and hyperdrives. see where they fit where do the sensors live there we go i'm gonna do two i know that's overkill but we're we're big enough now we can we can handle stuff like this and we need lots of troops we need point defenses on the side we need armor we need missiles i don't know if i'm gonna do ion beams um and this is where turning thrusters have a lot of, uh, what's the word, leverage, so I will probably add that in. You know, something like this and this. And even though they're small thrusters, since they're on the back end of the ship, they're going to have more because the center mass is going to be up here somewhere. I don't know exactly how the game calculates all that, but it should be okay. And then we're going to need lots of crew quarters. And we're going to need lots of other things. Like, I don't even know what, to be honest. So that handles eh, only 90 crew. That's still not enough crew. Oh, and we are for sure going to have to like assign crew. But I mean, it exists. So that's cool. Uh, we've used only 204 command points. So we have a lot of command points left. Um, definitely need to armor the back. And the sides. Uh, there's a flip button, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, maybe I should... That doesn't feel right. There we go. That's more the accurate way. Okay, go up the sides. Oh no, we need to stick out even further. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. I gotta pause the recording real quick, be right back. Okay. The Luana Nader is continuing to thrive. Let's get back to building. 
So we were getting armor figured out. Which, you know, I think that looks pretty good, actually. Mm, I think I'll probably change it to the one by twos. Um. Oh yeah. That's looking dope. Um, okay, for now, I'm, I know this looks absolutely ridiculous, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we will do other things to it, namely, actually fill in these empty spaces. We need a lot more armaments to the whole thing. Currently, we are woefully underarmed and underdefended. But this is at least something approximating a proper. Um, there we go proper ship okay we need a few more things before it's even flyable airlock hatch definitely needed um put one there oh storage yeah we're gonna need space for storage um for now okay we've got five by five that's a horrible amount of space given types of buildings we have. So we'll do that, we'll do that. Insufficient steel, beautiful. I'll just leave it that way for now. Okay, Luananator is technically alive. We will transfer the crew, all 107, send them over. Eagle One is decommissioned. Things are getting powered. Oh, I forgot about ammo. Crikey. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Can I buy steel? Please? Please and, oh no, they don't have much. Okay, well, we're gonna have to go find some. Gosh, it looks like a shield in the icon, but it's just armor. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, okay, so I still need a little bit more steel. Um, and we need ammo, which really... Crap. Okay, uh, what we'll do is we will transfer resources. Nope, sorry, transfer crew back to the eagle. Luananator is decommissioned for the moment. Eagle one, back to killing some pirates. I don't know what's over here, but something. We'll take it out, get some steel. Let me go ahead and save. I feel like it's faster to do this than to mine iron. It is one iron to one steel, so I mean, it's not a terrible ratio, but... Oh, there's a bad guy. But I feel like we can get a giant pile of steel just by taking out... Ooh, a swift wing. That's new. Okay. Cannons are us, and thankfully, due to disruptors, we should just be able to take out the reactor core easily enough, and I'm actually going to back up as they approach. Yeah, that didn't last very long, but I was trying to keep my distance because I don't want to be in cannon range, but he does, but it's, it's already over, so good deal. All right. 
Go gather my minions. Move the mining lasers to where they can actually work. Okay. Good deal, good deal. And with the passage of time, that will also mean that the space station should end up I don't know if they have like a default amount that they try to get to, but I think they'll get they'll end up having some more steel. Wow, that's a big uranium rock. That's a lot of uranium. I forget. I think it's four per enriched. So that right there is enough for like a whole medium reactor core. Which is a lot of money, but otherwise doesn't really matter. I'm sure eventually we'll need that many reactor cores. I just, I love how you can just keep building bigger and bigger ships. You know, eventually you get to the point where you can separate crew. So they like literally like crew can't walk from one end of the ship to the other because they're only kind of in their particular space. Uh, okay, let's chill here. And yeah, just do nothing. Um, we can use the resources that they picked up. And let's see if we, oh, I can't contact because there's no one in that ship. We can also receive payment for this plus 66. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, higher max. Um, and then they've got a little bit of steel. We'll go ahead and purchase. Okay, then we gotta go back to the drawing board here because I forgot about ammo. Now, ammo stacks to 10, I think. So this would be 40 per railgun. And each shot is six. So that's only, it's not even 10 extra shots. Yeah, that's not enough. We shouldn't need all that many shots, but you know, we got to also remember like, we'll be gone for a bit and then come back kind of thing. So I think putting the ammo in something like this makes a lot of sense. That should be enough ammo. That means we're not gonna wanna put crew there. However, can I shift all this down one? I don't see why not. Um, why am I doing that? Uh, oh, yeah, because I want um, room for another crew quarters. G, right click, right click is such a weird combo. Um, we can even fit more bunks on the end, which I shall. Can fit bunks there. Okay, and then I do want... Oh, I can't put a door there. I don't know if I like that. Um... put a door there just in case peeps need to get through for whatever reason um to the sensors definitely want a door there and then quarters i might put a couple there of course doors are always the further location rather than the closer seems like a decent place for an airlock okay this isn't beautiful but Remember, we're just trying to get this uh, battle station fully operational. And we are nearing such things. Okay, grab all this, drag that down. Okay, now what are things looking like? We've got place for ammo. 
I'll need to go there. And ammo for the flak. And in, this is too... Why am I... What the heck? Um, this is stupid. The ammo for the flak should be, like, up there. And... Crew quarters... Maybe there. And ammo, we'll have a door there and there. That one's not necessary. You know what? Ammo? More ammunition for the flat cannons? They do need a lot. Um. Oh, wait. I need to make it so. Ah, insufficient steel again. Okay. We'll just stick with that for now. Is it functional? Will it blend? Um, I also need storage for Hyperium. I'm not going to worry about that at this particular moment. Um, the old barge here needs a facelift too, but of course I'm out of steel, so we're going to have to wait a minute on that. Yeah, let, let me go get some more steel. Real quick. Um, yeah, just kill a pirate. Should be enough to do what I want to do. Oh, I could deconstruct those extra resource bays, too. Oh, well. We'll do that and kill a pirate. How's that? You guys are itching for some action. I can, I can hear it. I can hear it through the screen. Okay, this is not an opponent. That is a pirate base. Or roving something. Yeah, just roving, roving nerds. Um, oh, crap. I did not realize that was a level eight. I thought I just presumed it was a level two. Yikes. Well, luckily we didn't die. Jeez. That was scary. All of a sudden I'm getting broadsided by 40 medium cannons. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have to re-do the time warp because they're patrolling in and out of my sensor range. This is why I rebound the mouse buttons 4 and 5 to speeding up and slowing down time. Now, in this case, I actually want ammo. Nice. Okay. Jump. Um, okay, go over here, and now we should have enough to finish what we want to do. Let's go ahead and transfer resources to the Luaninator, all of the ammo, 40 Hyperium, transfer, and then repair all, plus blueprint, Get rid of these, put the armor back. Make it so, that gives me a thousand steel to work with. And we were gonna put some storage here, plus a door there. And then I also need some storage other places for normal stuff. For now, that's all I'm going to do. I know that's not enough. 
Suggested 11? What? That doesn't... 11 what? I wonder. Surely this is enough. Okay, and then now we need to... Wait, why is nothing getting transferred? Did I lose all my airlock hatches? No, we have those. Maybe it's because there's no one flying it. Let me transfer the crew, Eagle One, the Monitor, all but one. We'll leave, or two. Two dudes to man the Eagle One. Okay. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay, now, didn't I transfer resources? Thought we did. Clearly that never happened. Or I, I screwed something up. There we go. Now, did I lose the airlock hatches over here? I think I did. Throw some hatches up here just to have. And we need plenty of ammo. So let's buy some more. Oh, cool. More fame. Um, ammo please? How much you got? Oh yeah, 769? I'll take it all. This ship looks so weird right now. I promise we'll get it all fleshed out eventually. Oh, the other thing we need to do is... Hire people. Beautiful. So now we're up to the suggested amount. Are you serious? I haven't been at the suggested amount of crew in many fortnights. Okay, uh, we're short on ammo. I mean, we have decent stockpiles, but we still need this one full, so. Oh, and 20 to a stack, okay. I thought it was only 10 to a stack. I guess that's the missile parts that's 10 to a stack. Cool. All right, um, we're gonna save the game for real. I'm going to save my Luaninator design. Zoom, save ship design. Luaninator, um, I'm gonna call it 0. 0. 0.8. At least two revisions will be needed to have Luaninator 1.0. But we're gonna see just what the destructive power of railguns are before we finish this episode. And potentially are done with Cosmoteer. We'll see. I mean, I always struggle with content, whether to know how much I should upload or shouldn't upload of certain series, because sometimes the popularity dies down, sometimes people want to keep watching it, sometimes there's a few really dedicated people, but everyone else is done with it, so it's, it's a tricky needle to thread. But I, I do know that quite a few of you are interested in Cosmoteer, so... I wanted to at least do some of the more fun weapons like railguns and show you how missiles worked and stuff like that. But clearly there's a lot more ceiling in this game to discover all sorts of crazy, crazy crap. But yeah, I just want to see what a railgun can do. Is this not a pirate? It's not a pirate. Oh, it's the other... perfect. The other space station, so we can get locations of more pirates. Beautiful. Ooh, a level 10 station? What does it have for weapons? Nothing? Can it even defend itself? I guess it's a civilian station. Still with only small platforms defending it. Why are these not like level six platforms? I don't understand. Um, anyway, I will accept all of the bounties. And I will also accept exploring the signals. We already have a few more complete. Beautiful. And then we have a pirate. 
So let's let's try. Let's see what a railgun can do. What's the range of the railgun, by the way? Um, is it going to show me? Oh, that that is the range. Isn't it? Or is that the range? That little line. I think that line's sticking out. Oh yeah, that is the range. Oh my gosh, that's the range of the railgun. Okay. It's a bulwark. Okay, we're gonna miss the first shot because it's flying, but I wanna see. Here we go. Approaching range. In three, two, one. I think they're charging up. Maybe, maybe not. We've gotta be close. Oh, come on. Come on, baby. Are they gonna shoot? Oh, maybe it's because they're not lined up properly. They're so close. I wonder what angle. Firing arc zero. Yeah. That does make sense for a railgun. Oh my gosh. Okay, what if I target the front? Will that twist the ship enough to get him to shoot? Maybe, and then I retarget the back corner? No. Oh, come on. We're so close to being lined up! Well, as we follow the ship, we'll get closer and closer to lined up until eventually it will fire. Speed time up a little bit here. Here we go. Increase speed. Oh no, is it faster than us? Can we not keep up? Even at full, full engines ahead? No! Come on. We're just a couple meters a second too slow. Well, if he turns... Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. It's happening. It's happening! Okay, now we should get the shot. At least I'm hoping. Yes? Still no shot? What's going on here? Definitely within range. Fire. Already. Loader. Accelerator. Launcher. Come on, yo. Shoot the dang guns. Whatever, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, there we go. I had to twist to the right a little bit. Maybe they know how to lead their target. Oh, I missed him shooting, but look at this glory. This is one eighth speed. Oh, ho, ho. the damage. Look at the damage. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to have to cut him off if we want to hit him again. Oh, he now knows that I'm attacking him. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, railguns, railguns, railguns. Heck yeah. Oh, sliced off the right side of the ship. Come on, railguns. Recharge. A few seconds between shots. And... Oh. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Although you kind of missed the power core. Man. 
That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, we have no storage, um, which is a problem. You know, what I can do, I think this is legal. Can't I just put an airlock hatch attached to that? And like call it a day? And that's like storage now for all sorts of things. And we need to avoid missile parts and mine parts. I do want ammo, at least up to a certain amount. And then as they collect some steel, I should be able to build more. Sweet. Okay, well, there you go. The Luananator 0.8 seemed to do some serious damage. So, obviously, being able to line up your ship is important. So, having decent engines that can help you do that is a big deal. Um, we're going to jump home and probably try taking out one more bad guy before we call it an episode. Um, let's see, how can I make things better? One thing I could do is switch this out for an engine room. And then I can do this, right? And this is going to be... a lot more effective at helping turn the ship really fast. And I know that messes with our armor, but that's okay. We have the technology to rebuild. Um, oh gosh, that's hideous. Do do we need more ammo? Probably. No, we're good on ammo. Okay, so we did have some issues. I don't know what they were, but shields went down at one point. I could build a second large shield generator. That's maybe not the craziest thing I've considered doing all day. Um, triple point defense forward, triple sideways, that feels good. Oh yeah, nothing's getting through this. Come on now. Come on now, bring it on. Why does ammo still show 0 and 11? I don't understand that. Um... But yeah, Renegade Pack, no thanks. Fugitive Bounty, yes thanks. We are kind of a kill one enemy type ship, I think. Given railguns and the way they work. But think about a ship that has like four railguns along the main line. And then like the rest of it is just bristling with weapons. You know, you've got cannons and ion cannons like on the corners and sides and flat cannons pointing every which way and missile launchers of all types i just it I just think of think of the dream you know i want to live the dream but it takes probably a smarter person than me to build such a ship and well a lot more playing the game because that's a lot of resources and a lot of crew but let's see what we can do here against whatever ship this is with our double railgun. Okay, so we need to save the default attack range. Why is it not lighting up? Do we have to see the ship? It's really hard because of the way the line... There we go. Right there. Okay. 
Save attack defaults. Oh, Pirate Hunter is interrupting. Okay, let's try to get out in front of it. And then we'll turn around in time. No, they're both coming. Gosh. Why did my game pause? Oh, crap. Sorry. One second. There we go. Why did you both have to come the exact same direction? Okay, really? One of you needs to turn around already. Oh my goodness, what is happening? They're from different bounties, so they're not... Oh, they're fighting. That's what's happening. Could not figure that out. Okay, well, that should make this easier if you've been in a fight. What are you? An Echo. Oh, this is going to be like taking candy from a baby. He's currently stuck. We're almost in range. There it goes. Shot number one. Shot number two. Shum. Beautiful. Thrusters down. Cockpit destroyed. Number one. Wow, that's so satisfying. Alright, we'll let the black, black batteries help out here. Problem, uh, I need it to be closer. There we go. Even closer? Do I need to be even closer? Oh, that's weird. So it doesn't change the angle of the ship. It's actually really important. Um, you need to change the rotation of the ship because it's always aimed towards the center of the other ship. So if you want, there we go. If you want your rail guns, I don't want iron ore. Um, if you want your rail guns to hit something, you actually need to check that option, or what? Well, you need to check where your rotation is. That's interesting because it's only ever going to aim straight down the middle of their center of mass, or center of ship, or whatever you call it. Sweet. Well, rail guns are really fun. Glad we got to try those out. And yeah, I think we're going to call it an episode there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next episode.